Okay, here we go. What is my lucky number? 13. Do you think that being rubbish at maths is seen as a badge of honour? I certainly hope not. Being rubbish at maths is not very good. You should try and be better at maths. That would be a badge of honour. It's not too late to get better at numeracy, true or false? Well, it's true. It's never too late to get better at numeracy. Something you can do throughout the course of the whole of your life. Describe how you feel about numeracy in three words. Competent, capable and empowered. We use maths in some way every day, true or false? Well, that's obviously true. We go shopping, We've got to add up the cost of everything that we're buying. We travel around, we look at the number of miles that we're traveling. You know, basic maths is part of every basic day that we live. Can being confident with numbers help you in life? Yes, I think it can, because it will help you in life. And therefore, if you're better at dealing with every aspect of everyday life, then that will make you more confident. There's no doubt about that. How did I feel about maths at school? Well, it wasn't my best subject. It wasn't my worst subject, but it was a subject I knew I had to do because I was massively into science. So I just got on with it and, and did my best at maths. What do you struggle with when it comes to numbers? Remembering pi to 1,221 decimal places. What would be your maths face reaction if you were given a maths question? Something like that, maybe. Maths, do you love it or loathe it? I love it. Does it cost to improve your maths ability? No, it doesn't cost at all. It won't cost you any money. It might cost you some time. The more you practice, the better you get at numeracy. Who said, I attempted mathematics, but I got on very slowly? Was it Stephen Fry, Charles Darwin or Kate Winslet? Look, the guy's a hero of mine. I know the answer to this one. It's Charles Darwin, of course. All mathematicians are born good at maths, true or false? Going to be controversial here. Some neurodiverse people, like myself, seem to have an aptitude when it comes to maths and numeracy. That means that they're probably born with it. But let's be very clear. You can develop that aptitude throughout the course of your life. Your environment, your attitude, the amount of effort you put in counts. Did attitudes to maths at home at school impact, impact how you feel about it? Not really, um, other than that I knew that I had to pass all my maths exams. So like I said, I just got on with it. Do you compare yourself to others when it comes to numeracy? Not in a competitive way. I mean, there are people who are not as good at numeracy as me and there are people who are better. I don't feel inferior or superior to those people. I just go about my everyday maths. Getting the right answer quickly is the most important part of maths, true or false? That's false. It doesn't matter about the speed, it's getting the right answer that actually counts, I would say. How many bones are there in the adult human skeleton? 206, 324, 152? I should know the answer to this, and I do. It's 206. Albert Einstein struggled with basic maths, true or false? That's true, but he was better at higher maths, as he proved with E equals MC squared. If you put your mind to something, you can achieve anything. That's true. I believe that is true. If you really concentrate, you really work on it, you seek out the right people, you read the right things, you work really hard, meritocracy says to me, you get better at it. Which subjects use numeracy? Statistics, sports, budgeting, shopping, accountancy, cooking. All of them, I would say. Every single one of them. Numeracy is important. I think anything you can do to become more competent when it comes to handling figures and understanding how they impact your life and what they mean is a good thing. 1,221, 1,222, I think the figure is five. I'll have to check it.